Okay, turn your this leg forward. There you go, just like that. This cell phone video showing a nine-year-old girl firing a fully automatic Uzi at a gun range in Arizona tells only part of the story. All right, go ahead and give me one shot. What the video doesn't show, moments later, the weapon's powerful kickback causes the gun to lurch up and to the left. Her instructor, Charlie Vaca, is standing to her side. He's shot several times and killed. It made everybody more alert, certainly. It also raises a lot of questions. Why would a child, who may not be physically strong enough to control such a powerful weapon, be allowed to fire one? Bob Irwin is owner of the gun shop in nearby Las Vegas, a destination that's led the way in what's called machine gun tourism. He says the girl was within the range's age requirement of eight years old. He also feels what happened in the Arizona desert is unusual. I have been at this now for 40 years. We've been having a machine gun rental range, and I've never heard of any of this happening. But Irwin is wrong. It has happened before. In 2008, at a gun expo in Massachusetts, an eight-year-old boy accidentally killed himself while shooting an Uzi. Federal law has effectively banned the sale of fully automatic weapons to the public since 1986, but collectors and others are still allowed to have machine guns that were made before then. California's gun laws are even tougher, so you won't find an Uzi at a gun range here. The gun yes. simulator is inside here. Yes. Let's step right in. Firearms instructor Greg Block is one of only a handful of people in California licensed to yes, possess and operate an Uzi. This particular one is a micro Uzi. It is the smaller version of the full size she was shooting. So keep your index there. Put four fingers underneath the trigger guard right there and put your thumb side by side. Block uses a smaller handgun and a virtual training simulator to give me a lesson. I, I'm firing this quite a few times and this gun is really heavy. Yes, and it's light compared to the Uzi. The Uzi is a much heavier gun. The Uzi also has a large grip, which can make it hard for small hands to grasp. Under any circumstances, can you see a reason why a child should be handling this kind of weapon? Not really. I'm, full automatics are very hard to shoot because they rise up and to the left. And unless you've got somebody with enough weight and enough upper body strength, it's impossible to control it. As this young girl on vacation learned too late. Jennifer London, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.